This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, why I'm still on the dark side. So I've been riding dark side for a few years now. I got, I don't know, I gotta look it up exactly. I'll, I'll put it down below how many miles I've ridden on this car tire. It's, uh, it's about time to change it out. Uh, I think my problem with it though is I, I had overinflated. I went with the 41 pounds, which is maximum for the tire, but I don't have that much weight on here. Um, so it wore in the middle more than elsewhere, which is what a motorcycle tire does, strangely enough. But it's also what a car tire does when it's overinflated. Uh, more about that in another video. But some of the reasons, uh, highway stability. I mean, you think about on these gold wings, we often ride uh, a lot of interstates to get where we want to be. And these, uh, these car tires sit flat really, really well. So you got your highway stability. Uh, check out my, my first video. I'll show you a little clip here of just how I felt about how stable this car tire is. But yeah, you come up straight. Man, that's planted. That is awesome. I like that. Right, so straight line riding, you, you can't beat it on a car tire. It cannot be beat. And that's what we do most of the time. I mean, I'm going through some curves right now. Um, but we do a lot of straight line riding. And with that straight line riding, your motorcycle tire, well, it gets flat in the middle anyway. So why not just start off with it flat in the middle uh, using the car tire? Anyway, that's my thinking with it. Uh, and so that's what I do. So another reason I still use my car tire is uh, grooves. Any kind of grooves in the road, whether it's uh, you know, asphalt being milled, so the milling, or uh, concrete. Uh, concrete's got the grooves in it typically, as well as uh, grating on the, on the bridges and what have you. All of those are really squirrely on a motorcycle tire. On a car tire, I've not had any problems. The only issue I ever had with any kind of grooves was on interstate with concrete. So it had those grooves on it, and it was a pretty sharp turn. And the bike felt a little squirrely there. Uh, I have no idea how it would have felt uh, with a motorcycle tire. But it was a little squirrely on the car tire in the, in the curve, high speed with the grooves. So wet weather, uh, it might be that I use a Dunlop uh, Elite 4s is what I came from. And uh, there's some reports of them not being the, the best uh, wet weather tires. So going from the Dunlop Elite 4s to a car tire, I, I felt like the wet weather traction was so much better. Uh, I spent a lot of time commuting back and forth to work in Portland, Oregon. Uh, so using the, the Metzler, which came with it, uh, they were mostly used, so they didn't last very long. Uh, so I don't really remember how well they did. They seemed fine, but I was learning the gold wing at the time. Um, and then I went to the Elite 4s after doing a lot of research, what I should what I should use, what I wanted to use. So I got the Elite Fours, used them. They felt a little a little squirrely to me uh, in the wet weather in the Portland. Uh, and then when I went the car tire, I always felt very secure uh, in the wet weather. Now, I mean, wet weather, not first little sprinkle, because I always drive extra careful with the first little sprinkle. So that's not the issue. But uh, when the roads are, roads are wet, they got that little little sheen of, uh, of water, not the oil, um, the, the car tire sticks quite well. Uh, you've probably seen my video where I uh, had a little get off or my crash analysis video. The same event, two different videos. Um, people are like, oh, well, it's time to get rid of your car tire. No, that car tire stuck all the way through that, that turn. The reason I slid was due to taking it too sharp. Watch that analysis video. Uh, but the rubber stuck. Uh, this car tire stuck well. So that was not an issue. So that worked really well. Uh, another reason, I want to get into towing. And car tires are just made stronger. Now one problem I'm having, uh, especially preparing for this video, is motorcycle tires have a weight rating. Right? So there's this two digit number before a letter. 
and that's your weight rating. Uh, but I've seen like three different charts uh, for what that rating is. Where car tires, you know, they're, they're made to hold up a heavier vehicle. Uh, they're made stronger. I've never seen a video where somebody, or a photo, or a story, or anything, where somebody had a car tire fail catastrophically. And I've seen lots of on motorcycle tires. A lot of times there's catastrophic failures is from on the heavy bikes, like the Goldwing. Maybe they're towing, maybe they're too up. It's just too much weight on these motorcycle tires. They weren't designed for that. Car tire, car tire is still waiting for you to weight, uh, load it down. It's just doesn't doesn't see it it's made for a heavier vehicle for heavier hauling and then tread wear um i get i got about twelve thousand miles uh out of my uh out of my dunlop elite fours and i can check on that and find out exactly what it was and i'll put it right here what what that uh, mileage was i got out of the elite four and it worn pretty good and i was a little nervous about them when i wore them that well car tire uh, they're a 60,000 mile tire I overinflated it so I, I got and again I don't remember how many miles but we'll say it's around 20,000 miles I got on this thing uh, time to replace it uh, but it's down to the wear bar um, down to the wear bar I could probably ride a little bit longer before it gets scary uh, the only thing I worry about a little bit is you know, wet weather because the tread's not as deep because uh, they do so well in wet weather. I'm afraid I'll get a little overconfident uh, with the tire getting low on tread. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's why I'm still I'm still riding with a car tire. That's why I'm still dark side. So until my next adventure, and this is Redbeard. See you on the road.